So let's talk about how to put together our lab notebook. The first thing is that you want a bound composition notebook. So it needs to be bound on the side. That means we can't tear pages out because we don't tear pages out of our lab notebook. You want to make sure that your name is on the front. That way I know whose lab notebook it is when you turn it in. When we open up our lab notebook, we're first going to look at the front cover. You should have a copy of this lab notebook layout and grading rubric. I want you to tape or paste this into the front cover. This is going to be your guideline for the rest of the year for how to put together your labs in your lab notebook. There's the list in order of all the components of a lab report, um, along with all the points that are assigned to the individual pieces when I go to grade it. On the first page, we're going to make our table of contents. So you're going to want to write table of contents at the top, and then we'll fill this in as we go. We're going to turn the page two times, so one, two, that way we have two pages for our table of contents. Now we're ready to start putting together our first lab. The very first thing that we do when we put together a lab in our lab notebook is we're going to write the title at the very top. The title of this first lab is Mass and Change Lab. Below the title, we're going to write the date. After title and date comes our purpose. And the purpose of this lab is to investigate mass and when and how it can change. Your purpose in your lab book does not have to be word for word the, my purpose. Actually, I encourage you to write your purpose in your own words. After you write the purpose of the lab, um, next you're going to write in the hypothesis. And your hypothesis is an educated prediction of what's going to happen in the lab. So you should have the pieces of the lab procedure. I want you to skim through the lab procedure, see what we're doing. And then once you see what we're doing, I want you to make a prediction about what's going to happen to the mass. Once you write your hypothesis in there, I didn't write mine, but you should write your hypothesis in here, you're going to tape or paste your lab procedure into your lab notebook. There's some extra white space. Feel free to trim away some of the extra white space if you need to to get it to fit better into your lab notebook. And there are two pieces to this procedure, so make sure that you include both of them. After the procedure, if we flip back to the front, so we've done title, date, we've done the purpose, we've done our hypothesis, we put in our procedure. Next comes observations and data and graphs. We're not graphing anything in this lab. We're just going to make observations and collect data. So I'm going to leave a section for observations and I'm going to leave a section for data because I'm going to be collecting both of those at the same time. After the lab and after we've discussed it, you're going to be able to write your lab summary and that's the last piece that goes into the lab. The lab summary include six sentence prompts. So at minimum, it should be six sentences. However, it can definitely be more than six sentences. Please make sure that you're following these prompts. The very last piece is the organization. Um, there are some guidelines on how to organize your lab and what we will be looking for. If you have any questions about setting up your lab, group, lab notebook, please come see me.